Indirect immunofluorescence involves detecting autoantibodies that are circulating in patient's blood. Patient's blood is drawn and later centrifuged to separate the serum. This is an old world monkey and this is its esophagus. By being discussed here, let's see. Old world monkey's esophagus is homologous to human oral mucosa. A sample is taken from monkey's esophagus which is used to detect target antigens of the autoantibodies, if any present in patient's serum. A frozen section of monkey's esophagus is taken and placed on a slide. This specimen has similar cellular attachments as present in human mucosa. But to look like the patient's mucosa, it needs to be prepared. As a next step, the patient's serum which might have circulating autoantibodies is used. If the patient's serum has autoantibodies directed against epithelial attachments, they will attach to homologous structures in the specimen. As you may see, the specimen has been prepared after the slide was incubated with patient serum. The circulating autoantibodies have attached themselves to cellular attachments in the monkey's esophagus. Next step being same as for direct immunofluorescence involves inoculating human immunoglobulins in gold. Two doses are given with six weeks interval between doses. The production time of goat anti-human immunoglobulin is three weeks after the last dose. Here we are harvesting anti-human immunoglobulin from goat. This is the harvested anti-human immunoglobulin. The goat obtained anti-human immunoglobulin is tagged with fluorescein stain. The specimen is flushed with fluorescein stained anti human immunoglobulins that have previously been obtained from goats. This slide is then viewed under ultraviolet light in the microscope. And specific patterns are viewed according to the immunological disease being tested. As you see, the anti human immunoglobulins have arranged themselves according to the autoantibodies. It helps show off the fluorescent pattern and indicate the cellular attachments against which autoantibodies have been formed. It also helps locate their specific sites. Ending with a hope that it helped you in one way or another.